Alright, so the plan in this one was to pitch Tack up like a scarecrow and maybe scare you guys or something, but um, turns out he's a cowardly lion. Hallowed Ground. Yeah, it sounds like more of a religious movie than it actually is. And the only reason why I went into this movie was because, well, Jamie Alexander, because I liked her in Thor, so I thought, mm, let's see what else she's done. Sometimes, that's not a good idea. We have ourselves a horror, peoples. Um, the idea, uh, basically, without giving anything away, is um, your typical horror. Introduce Scarecrow. Um, slight supernatural kind of thing going on. Startling to a slight degree. B-movie? Yeah, pretty much. Put into the thought that I know Jamie Alexander from Thor. That's a much bigger scale movie. Maybe I'm just putting this into the wrong perspective, but it really is a B-movie. So this movie isn't really in any shape or form scary, or can you construe it as a, a decent horror? So I'm going to have to rate it as such. So let's talk about her performance, shall we? In this movie, I don't think that she really proved to anybody that she had much acting skill. There was given opportunities for range, a dramatic scene here and there, children involved to so make us a little bit more emotional, and I don't know that necessarily she brought her A-game. Can't really be really mean at her at this point. It's a B-movie, one of her firsts, put it together, you're not expecting a lot in forms of performance, so we'll move on from that. The rest of the actors, uh, and backup cast I should say, don't really recognize too many of them, and as I shouldn't. It's pretty much a B-movie. So, as far as backup actors, they did a pretty decent job. Gave something to the same amount of effect that Jamie Alexander did, so they didn't overshadow her, but they didn't really underperform in any degree. They just kind of did what they needed to do. The idea of the story is pretty generic and pretty basic compared to some of the other movies that we have out there based on scarecrows, sort of supernatural stuff, so it doesn't really give you anything new, it doesn't really give you an old movie that, you know, was exciting. It's just kind of doing its own thing, which I guess I can respect, but it doesn't really thrill you to any degree. Just right straightforward with what it wants to do, and you kind of get the idea. Some pieces, though, don't make too much sense when you kind of put it all together. It's like, why is that person walking? I thought he died. Um, maybe they ran out of backup characters. I have no idea. But the idea is there. Where did these people come from? Why weren't they there earlier? And that, those kind of puzzling things about a B-movie are in here. One thing I do have to criti criticize on is the graphics or the effects or whatever you want to say. The blood spurting out. Something you just make up in your kitchen. You just throw some ketchup in it, maybe put a little bit of water, make it look a little bit real, and then it just slung off. It's kind of very gruesome at times, but overdoes itself and ultimately you just you lose that reality piece that was the possibility of it being something scary or something uh, at least slightly frightening for you. Can't really give you anything else because, well, I'd ruin the story if I said two words about it. Without further ado, we're on to the review side. Yeah, I'm not going to give this one much. And I really had hoped that Jamie Alexander gave me something in another movie. I'm going to keep on digging. Maybe she did give another better performance in one of her other movies, but this wasn't the one. And this one, a one out of Five cowardly lions, because the scarecrow thing's kind of overdone. On to the next review.